Spiders are a masterclass in predatory engineering. With over 50,000 species discovered so far, these arachnids have conquered nearly every corner of our planet, from the highest mountains to the driest deserts. From the venomous fangs of the funnel web to the ingenious webs of the orb weaver, spiders have perfected the art of the hunt. But the story of how they became such dominant predators is a long and ancient one, a tale of extraordinary adaptations forged over millions of years. The journey begins not with a spider, but with a proto-arachnid from the ancient Devonian period, some 385 million years ago. Imagine a world of primitive plants and swamps where a small, unassuming creature named Paleothele skittered across the forest floor. While not a true spider, it belonged to a group of arachnids that possessed the very first silk-producing organs. Paleothele likely used this simple, protein-based fiber not to catch prey, but to line its burrows and protect its eggs. This was the primordial origin of a material that would one day become a superweapon. The first true spiders did not emerge until the Carboniferous period, a time of vast, coal-filled forests that stretched across the supercontinent of Pangaea. These early spiders, from the primitive suborder Mesothele, were distinct in their rigid, segmented abdomens. Unlike their modern counterparts, they didn't rely on complex webs. Instead, they were ambush predators, building ground burrows lined with tripwires of silk. A wandering insect, a cricket-like arthropod, or even an early cockroach, would trip a silken strand, sending vibrations that instantly alerted the hidden spider to burst from its lair and seize its prey. This hunting style was a brilliant evolutionary strategy. It conserved energy and gave them a significant advantage over more active predators. Following the Carboniferous, the world was rocked by the Permian-Triassic extinction event, the most devastating mass extinction in Earth's history. It wiped out an astonishing amount of life, yet the spiders, with their unique hunting strategies, proved to be incredibly resilient. In the fragmented world that emerged, new niches opened up and spiders began to diversify. This period saw the rise of a new lineage, the megalomorphs. These were the ancestors of today's tarantulas and trapdoor spiders. They were larger and stronger, with robust legs and fangs that pointed straight down. Megalomorphs didn't build intricate aerial webs. Instead, they perfected the ambush, constructing silk-lined burrows with hinged, camouflaged trapdoors. An unsuspecting insect, or even a small lizard would stumble by, triggering the trapdoor to spring open as the spider launched its attack. Their hunting strategy was all about power and surprise, a stark contrast to the more passive hunting styles of their ancestors. But the greatest leap in spider evolution was still to come. As the Jurassic period gave way to the Cretaceous, a new group of spiders, the Araneomorphs, appeared. These spiders were revolutionary. They had a flexible abdomen and, most importantly, fully developed spinnerets that allowed them to produce a variety of silk types. Their fangs, unlike the downward-pointing fangs of Megalomorphs, moved from side to side like pincers, enabling them to handle and wrap their prey with incredible precision. But their true genius lay in a simple idea, building traps in the air. This innovation was directly linked to another great evolutionary boom, the rise of flying insects. As bees, wasps, and moths soared through the skies, Spiders began to exploit this untapped resource. The first complex, three-dimensional webs emerged. The classic orb web, a spiral of sticky silk suspended between branches, was a masterpiece of geometry 
and physics. It was perfectly designed to intercept the flight path of insects, ensnaring them in a web of no escape. Other spiders developed different web designs. The messy, chaotic tangle webs of black widows that preyed on crawling insects, or the funnel webs that led prey into a silken tube. The invention of the web was the single most important innovation in spider history. It allowed them to move beyond the ground and dominate a new aerial hunting ground. The KPG extinction event, which ended the reign of the dinosaurs, once again proved to be a crucible for spiders. While 75% of life perished, the survivors filled the empty ecosystems. With the rise of flowering plants, a new co-evolutionary dance began with their pollinators, bees, butterflies, and a host of other insects. Spiders adapted in extraordinary ways to hunt this new wave of flying prey. Some spiders, like the crab spider, evolved camouflage, blending perfectly into the petals of flowers to ambush unsuspecting bees. Others, like the bola spider, developed chemical warfare, releasing pheromones that mimicked a female moth, luring male moths to their doom. Even without flight, spiders perfected the art of travel. They developed a unique dispersal method called ballooning, where a spiderling would climb to a high point, release a strand of silk into the wind, and let the breeze carry it for miles, or even hundreds of miles, to a new territory. This seemingly magical trick allowed them to colonize every continent except Antarctica. In the modern era, spiders have found new ways to adapt to human-modified landscapes. Some species have become urban specialists, living in our homes and gardens, preying on household pests like flies and mosquitoes. The American house spider thrives in the corners of sheds and basements, while some orb weavers strategically build their webs around artificial lights to capitalize on the insects they attract. Today, Spiders are a testament to the power of relentless adaptation. From the first silken burrows to the intricate predatory webs of the modern world, their evolution has been a story of innovation, resilience, and a quiet, persistent dominance. While some populations face threats from habitat loss and pesticide use, the incredible history of spiders teaches us that these are creatures built to endure.